could die, yeah. Let us start off by making a new project, fresh. The first thing you want to do is add an audio track, which is where we are going to put Vocodyne on. I have my microphone on input 2 on my sound card, so in the mixer, I'm going to select input 2. Next, we want to add Vocodyne as an insert effect. You'll find it under Plugin, Effect, Vocodyne. Already at this point, we can use Vocodyne in the auto mode by clicking auto and setting up the scale with a keys button. Just fill in whatever keys you want to use for your scale, arm the track, and sing away. Yeah. However, I do recommend using MIDI for the best possible results. So we're going to have a look at how to route a MIDI channel into Vocodyne. We'll just keep this channel here. We'll make a new one, and this time it's going to be a MIDI track. Create, looking good. Let's head into the mixer. Looking at the ins and outs of the MIDI channel, you need to change the output to Vocodyne channel 1. From here, you can record both the audio and the MIDI at the same time. I recommend checking out the video with tips for techniques. In this case, I do not have a MIDI controller connected, but that's how you do it, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to draw in some MIDI by hand to verify that it works. Microphone, oh yeah. Voilons. 